Okay, hi there, welcome to an updated video looking at some examples of conglomerate integration uh, between businesses. So a conglomerate uh, is a business that has uh, been integrated through the merger or takeover of many diversified businesses, products and brands. And the key point about a conglomerate form of business growth is that you're acquiring businesses in disparate, in other words, different industries. In that sense, it's different to lateral integration and obviously different to horizontal and vertical integration. Some of the world's biggest conglomerates are well-known household names. General Electric in the United States, 3M, the, uh, the source of the ubiquitous post-it note. The Tata Group in India, we'll say something about that in a second. Siemens from Germany and Philips from the Netherlands. And indeed, Samsung is also known as a, uh, as a conglomerate. So too, businesses such as Hitachi. Samsung, obviously famous for mobile phones and LCD screens and TVs, but they also make military hardware, they run apartment businesses, they build ships, and they also own a Korean amusement park. But that's an emotional roller coaster for the CEO. The Tata Group, I think, is a really interesting example to add to your notes on conglomerate integration. So the Tata Group is actually a business that is now well over 150 years old from India. And over time, it's diversified and grown and expanded to cover um, dozens of businesses across from, from car making uh, to airlines to retail and information technology and consultancy services. Quite a few of the businesses that Tata have bought have actually been British. A few years back, uh, Tata acquired uh, Jaguar Land Rover and they also bought the, the steelmaker Chorus, which at the time was Britain's largest uh, steel producer. They also own uh, Tetley Tea. So Tata Steel is a good example of a, a transnational conglomerate business. Here are the biggest, uh, oh sorry, in terms of uh, uh, the Indian economy, Tata Consultancy Services is actually the business now with the highest net profit forecast in 2020. It's overtaken Reliance Industries, you may have heard of those if you watch the Indian IPL and really well-established businesses such as uh, Infosys. Uh, so, uh, Tata is a, a successful conglomerate. Um, there's a case for saying perhaps they've overextended themselves. Uh, what's happened during the coronavirus pandemic is that many businesses who have made big acquisitions are now looking to trim costs, to streamline their operations, to focus on their core competences. So we may well see an acceleration in the process of demerger as businesses look to uh, to rationalise their businesses. But certainly Tata is a great example to pick up on. It doesn't quite make it into the leading conglomerates based on stock market value, although this goes back to April 2019. 3M is the biggest, Honeywell International, Siemens is in there. So too um, CK Hutchinson in Hong Kong and obviously Philips in the Netherlands. I think there's quite an important link to make here between the conglomerates in theme three and uh, your economics of globalization. So many of these firms are clearly global businesses, diversified global businesses, and a key feature indeed of, of the process of globalization, which you will have covered uh, in theme four, your macroeconomics. But there we go. Hopefully a useful little two or three minute primer on the nature of conglomerate integration between businesses. Okay, thank you.